hi and welcome back to the channel in today's video well today's video you're going to notice that I'm wearing different clothes in the video that I'm wearing right now and in the closing because I had this video completely filmed edited in the can scheduled ready to go and then something changed that necessitated me coming out and uh, and refilming the opening and the closing to let you know what we're going to be doing today uh, and what has changed is JC's bees has been recovered JC's bees was hacked he lost 50,000 subscribers in all of, his, all of his videos, and I was going to ask you uh, if you have not subscribed to his channel or if you were unaware of Jason Chrisman's bees uh, to go over there and give him a look and, uh, and give him a subscription and look at his videos and give him some thumbs up, some comments, and let him know that you support him. But since I made that video, it looks like YouTube and, and Jason have got things worked out, and it looks like his videos go are going to be back online, and his old site is going to be coming back up, so I don't want to send you to his new site uh, to subscribe. So if you haven't heard of Jason Chrisman, uh, after this video, do me a favor, zip over there, see if you can find his old site. It's the one with all the videos that YouTube is bringing back, and uh, subscribe to his channel. I think you like his content. Anyways, uh, in today's video, what we're going to be doing is going through the Green Hive just a cursory inspection, a very quick uh, look at the green hive, uh, because when I was mowing the other day, the girls started piling out like it was a fire drill, and I think they were going to swarm. Now, I don't know why. It's the wrong time of year to swarm, and they weren't coming after me for having the lawnmower. Um, I had to actually turn the sprinklers on, hit them with the hose to get them to go back in there and cancel their plans, and they did, but I want to go in there and make sure I don't see any super seizure cells, queen cups, swarm cells, or anything like that. So we just want to get, get a look at the green hive. And then we're going to zip down to Juno. Um, when I brought Juno from the back bench up to the front, I lifted the lid and looked inside, and there were a ton of hive beetles in there. And I want to make sure that we don't have a huge problem because those girls are sitting back on the back bench. And last time we went through them on the back bench, when we took the flow hives off, uh, they were eaten up with hive beetles, even though they're using the Guardian, and they did not have the upper vent hole, so they got to be coming up through the screen bottom board. We're going to check that out, but I want to check on, on Juno's health. So with all that said, let me give you the video. So here you go. Enjoy. All right, there you go. I've got my smoker lit and my veil on. So let's go down there and uh, we're going to start on the green hive. And I'll tell you a little story about the green hive once we get down there. Um, last chance, if you haven't gone over to JC's Bees and subscribed, please do it now. Um, he's got great content. You can check it out from time to time. You'll learn a lot, I promise. Uh, and then I'll see you in a minute while I walk down to this hive. Last chance, go, go subscribe to him. Hey, girls. So let me tell you, I don't know whether you can tell, but it is a beautiful, beautiful day. It is gorgeous weather out. I mean, gorgeous. I woke up this morning, it was 43 degrees, no humidity. Just a gorgeous day. So, the green hive, the reason we're starting in the green hive first and not, not moving down straight to Juno um, is because this hive, after I mowed yesterday, they got the idea they wanted to swarm. There were a bunch of bees doing the fire drill, pour it out. I had to actually turn the sprinklers on and spray them with, with a hose to get the bees to go back in there and cancel their swarm. So I want to look around in here, see if I see queen cups or anything like that, or maybe they're honey bound. I don't know. I want to get in here and find out. And then after we take a look in here, we are going to zip down there to Juno and see what the hive beetle situation is. I did get my new beetle traps as well, so we will see how that works out. Okay, oh, one other thing, and this is, this is uh, in response to a question that I believe, I believe it was William Blanchard, asked me if the finish was peeling off of this box. Now, you know that I use uh, spar varnish, McClowski's spar varnish sailboat finish, very, very good. And no, the finish is not coming off the box. My boxes are all seconds from the factory, and this one apparently had something spilled on it at the factory, and it wouldn't take any stain. The box is in great shape, um, and it does have a good finish on it, but yeah, it is what it is. These girls are kind of clustered. Now, it's probably about 55 degrees right now. The temperature's climbing, but it is a little bit uh, chilly yet. They're probably not going to like me in here. I should probably get my gloves on. Yeah, I think I'm going to get my gloves on before I open it. They're already getting loud. The goal, again, in this hive is just to see what's going on, see why it was they were trying to swarm yesterday. I don't know why that is. But it's too late in the season for them to swarm. If they swarm, they're going to be toast. Hi, right, girls. Okay, you're just now drawing comb out over here, so I don't think you're honey-bound. 
Okay, we are just now drawing this comb out on both sides, so they are pulling comb. Set that right here. Same here, this is a brand new frame of comb. Oh, and they're capping on it. There's no way a queen is laying on there. There we go. This is a beautiful frame. We're capped on one side and we're full on the other. Boy, I tell you what, I hope these girls have room for a queen to lay. And this is a complete frame of, of nectar slash sugar syrup. No hive beetles thus far. Okay, oh, this is a solid frame of brood. Oh, on both sides. That's gorgeous. Still, no queen cells. That is a gorgeous frame. Don't see the queen, but she has definitely been here. Look at that. Be it beautiful. Be it beautiful. This hive does not have the first hive beetle in it yet. Okay, going down. Hi right, girls, here we go. So let me tell you, what happened to Jason Chrisman is just terrible. I mean, I just, why would somebody want to do that? From what I understand, it was like 11 years of that man's life building these bee videos, and like I said, a lot of great content. He, he knows what he's doing, he knows what he's talking about, and he's been there to help all of us, and then somebody would just hack in to his account. This doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense. Okay, what do we have here? Okay, there's some cattywampus comb. They've got some nice tunnels underneath of it. I don't know whether you can see that on the camera, but got some nice tunnels. Well, under, oh, I see, oh, I see some hive beetles. Okay. Okay. One. Oh, oh, there's, oh, oh, there's more hive beetles. Oh, 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 okay. Here we go. Maybe this is a problem. There you go. There you go. It's all good. So let me tell you, the next time I do that, if I have a lot more beetles, I'll show you how I do that. It works really, really well. It's a good way to get rid of your hive beetles in a, in a big way. I must have killed a hundred of them over there and quite a few. I do not see the queen, but I've got a guy with a blower coming up behind me here. So I'm going to close this hive up as quickly as I can. Alright, well the landscape crew is gone and I can finally get back to my video here. Let's, uh, let's jump inside of Juno and take a look. I suspect I'm going to find a lot of hive beetles in this hive. I mean, I don't want to find a lot of hive beetles in this hive, but I think I'm going to. Oh, I forgot to put my gloves on too. Alright girls. What do we have? Oh yeah, a ton of hive beetles. And they're just walking around the trap. They're coming out the outside of the box. Yeah, this is not good. Not good. Oh yeah, there's three more right there. 
Another one there. Another one there. Another one there. Oh, they're everywhere. Okay, we have a bad beetle problem here. Maybe these are just full. They need to be uh, refilled or replaced. One good thing is that they've all been on this side of the hive. Thank goodness Juno's a strong hive. Okay, quite a few in there. You'd think they'd be just overrun, considering there's so many beetles in this hive. There's a lot less, a lot less beetles in the traps than I would suspect. Okay, just that the traps are not overloaded. Oh, there's a beetle. It's like Juno's girls are not forcing these bees into the or these beetles into the traps. I don't understand. With this many beetles in the hive, those traps should be overrun. Big toasteroni. All right. There's a beetle. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Just wiped out three of them. Four of them. Oh, there, yeah, there's, there's more beetles here. Okay, we're going to the board. Okay, I hope you can see this. What do we can do with beetles here? There's a bunch of them right there. Okay, see all these beetles? Give them the old smash -aroni. Just tons of them. Some of them are flying away, but others are not. Yeah, so some of them get airborne. But others not so much. Let's hit the other side here. Okay. Right. That was not too bad. Let's do this side again. A few bees get sacrificed in the process, but get a lot of the beetles. Some of the beetles try to hide underneath the bees. But this solution does work. Let's see what else we can find here. Hopefully we won't have any more frames like that. Oh, there's a lot of them on here. I've got to go back to the board. Son of a gun. All right, this hive is infested with hive beetles. I mean, just infested. Glad I got out here and had a chance to go through it. I'm glad she's up here in the front. I just don't understand how they managed to avoid how they managed to avoid the beetle traps. Because let me tell you, there are more than enough beetles to fill those traps, and there's more than enough room in those traps for those beetles. All right. I'm glad this is a strong hive. It's three high. I don't see any more there. There's a, there's a beetle there. I mean, these buggers are fast. They know what I'm up to. They're coming out. Okay. Oh, gone it. I'll be back. All right. I'm making so many bees angry, and I'm only in the top box. This is not good. Come on. Come on, girls. What is up? All oh, the beetles. Oh, there's a ton more in here. Oh, this is the worst. Get a lot of bees off first. Yeah, I think the key is getting the uh, 
as many bees off the frame as possible. I just don't want to shake any of these hive beetles back down into the into the hive. Oh. Here we go again. Son of a gun. All right, well that was no fun. Let's close this hive, or this top box up. We're gonna put those traps back in, and I'm gonna put traps on all the levels. These girls are gonna get the uh, trap of palooza They're gonna get uh, lots, of, uh, lots of beetle traps. Four on every level, because this is just too much. Now this hive was back in the back, so I suspect that uh, Army and Navy back there are going to be just as bad because neither one of those two hives are near as strong as this one. And this hive's eaten up with them. Okay. All right, girls. Here we go. Let's, uh, let's hope that we don't have any beetles here. Okay. Oh, man. All right. Doggone it. Okay. I don't know about beekeepers, but I'm the king of hive beetles this year. I'm going to change my channel name to Beetle Farmer. It seems to be what I'm good at. Holy moly. Get that off of here. That off of here, because all that's going to do is cause problems. All right, girls, let's hope that this one is better. Let me tell you, so far, Juno hasn't had any heavy frames yet either. Very, very light frames. Okay, B, don't sting my glove. Very light frames. Hey, hey, no beetles on that side. I'll take it. One beetle on this side. Oh, no, thousands of beetles on this side. No. Okay, that was the worst one yet. Now I have seen Mike Berry do videos where he has had so many beetles that they slimed his hive. I don't see how I'm not getting slimed with this many beetles. Ugh, there's another one. I mean, how's that possible? Oh, there's just a gazillion in here. Okay. This is just nuts. And this hive is completely and totally infested. Come on, Juno, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Let's see if this one's any better. Capped brood. Okay, so they're gonna be keeping the beetles off of, uh, off of brood, I'm sure. So we may have Juno around here. I hope I haven't shaken Juno out on a bench. Oh, there's beetles there, son of a gun. Okay, I'm not going to shake this one because it's got brood in it. Okay, okay, more capped brood. I don't see any beetles. I do not see Juno. I do not, oh, I see a couple of little queen cups. Oh. Okay, got a bee going up my leg. We've been here before, Red Dawn. I remember it well. Okay, that looks good. Every time I move anything, this hive just gets louder and louder. They want me out. Okay, that's beautiful. No beetles here. So this is the clean side of the hive. But it's light on resources, I tell you that. Oh goodness, I'm sorry bees. I'm sorry. Nothing going on in there. Nothing going on there. Caddy wampus, everything. Okay. So let me. These these girls are they're mad. Okay. I know, I know, I know. It's the worst. I'm trying to help you. 
trying to help you trying to reduce your beetle population, ladies. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's very loud in this hive. I would still like to get through that other bottom box. I just don't think it's going to happen today. Maybe I'll come out and go right to that bottom box tomorrow or something. I've also found barely any food in here, and I'm hoping that's in the bottom box as well. I may have to feed. I may have to feed this hive. I know, I know, I know. I'll bring some fresh food out for you. Look, it's empty. <laughs> There we go. All right, there you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, it looks like we have a lot of work to do uh, with Juno. She's uh, she's at war right now with the beetles, and we need to uh, we really need to get that thing in shape so that she can go into the winter. I'm going to be doing some oxalic acid treatments uh, in the near future, so we will take care of that. But the first thing I need to do is finish up on the Juno hive. We'll do that next week. Get down into the bottom box and make sure that the uh, the beetles are gone and she's ready to go into the fall. So all that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor, give me a thumbs up. If you have something to say, by all means, please comment. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, do me a favor, take a moment to subscribe, ring the bell to be notified of my new content. I try to drop a video every Friday around 3 o'clock. I want you to come along for my adventure. So all that said, be happy, and I will see you next week. Take care.